So in previous videos you've seen me make this power feed from a milling machine and uh, we talked about the electrics, how the electrics went together and how this bracket was made and how the whole assembly was put together. I just thought I'd do a follow up video just showing how the power feed performs to see what sort of finish we get and ultimately how the stepper motor performs with the resistance of cutting material and uh, hopefully it works as it should. So I've got a bit of uh, square bar in the vise. I'm just going to face off one side using this indexable um, shell mill. Um, and we'll use the power feed to set the pace and uh, we'll see what sort of finish we get on the top of here. I'm really happy with that finish. It is smooth to the touch. Uh, you can see cut marks but I think it looks okay. So I've got a project coming up where I'm going to be making a small manual shaper but this vise won't hold the plates I plan to cut. I have some plates this size and using this cutter, this shell mill, I'm going to want to face these off. So what I plan to do is cut some more 25mm square bar. And I want to make a two piece vise to sit on the uh, milling table so I can clamp these plates in and face them off. So I think now we know we can get a good finish we'll square up some bars um, to make the milling the two part vise for this table. So I've cut my three bits of square bar that I'm going to use to make my two piece vise. And the plan is I'm going to drill two holes in one with the hole this way that will be tapped. And then these two holes will clamp that portion, that section down to the bed. I'll then have another piece which will just float. It will have the threaded bar in. Um, pushing off this to move it that way and then this will be my fixed jaw that will just have two holes in to lock it down to the T-nuts on the bed. So first thing I'm going to do is as we've just done with that test piece we're just going to face off uh, the four sides we're just going to take um, 0.3 of a mil off and square it up and then we'll drill some holes in it.
So I've got two bars drilled and counterboard now. I'm just going to flip this one 90 degrees and I'm going to put a threaded hole dead centre which will be what will drive the moving jaw. So that's the two fixed jaws or the two fixed parts of the two piece of ice finished. Last thing to do now is to finish off the moving jaw um, and that will just have a centre hole. Um, I'm planning on trying to counter bore a hole both sides and then uh, drilling and tapping the end of the threaded bar um, just to lock the moving jaw to uh, the threaded bar. So this is the thread I'm going to use on the two piece vise. Uh, this will be what locks it tight and opens it. Um, I was going to drill and tap the end but I've decided what I'm going to do is just turn down a bit of a shoulder and tap that at a smaller diameter then I'll lock it to the moving jaw just using a nut. So we'll get this turned down and we're gonna tap. This is currently an M10, I'm gonna tap an M6. So we'll turn it down to just under 6mm and then we'll thread it. So that's the thread done so we'll get the moving jaw uh, drilled now and uh, we'll count and bar it uh, to fit on there.
So here's the uh, moving jaw that we've now counterboard both sides. Now at the moment that counterboard doesn't go over the threads on the M10. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take them threads off and bring it down to the diameter on uh, the counterbar just so that'll go right through and uh, I might need to reduce well I probably will need to reduce the length of the M6 thread just so it's not sticking out to the other side so we'll, uh, we'll get that done now So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill and pin a nut to the end of the threaded bar just so I've got something to drive it with. And here's the, uh, the pin I'm going to use. It's just a uh, C pin or a split pin. There it is, the, uh, the nut is pinned to the uh, thread, so we'll uh, get it all put together now. So there we go, we've got the uh, two piece, or oh, it's actually a three piece vice made um, and it's going to be ideal for machining the face on larger plates. Uh, only downside at the moment, a bit of a design fault is uh, this moving jaw wants to pull up um, because all the load is on the top edge, it wants to turn it back. So what I might do is put some more fixing holes in here 
um, just so I can put um, tea nut underneath. Um, it won't lock it down so it can't move, it will just stop it from lifting. Um, so it will be a case of bolting it down and then just backing it off so it can still slide but it can't lift. So, But apart from that it works as it should. At the moment the fixed jaw is just squared up using a, a engineer square. So I'll indicate that before I go on to make anything else using this. So there we are, um, two piece vice for the milling machine. Thanks for watching, um, check in next time for making a manual shaper. Um, it's going to be a small shaper um, and we're going to make all the parts. I've got all the parts here ready to go. So thanks for watching, see you again next time. Subscribe, comment and like. Thank you. Thank you.